what's good everybody so i wanted to uh do a little different of a video this time around mostly because i um i didn't realize i was i wasn't recording at first and then when i realized i wasn't recording i was like uh you know what i think it's better to not record because i need to focus right now because my record's ugly um because i did stop sweating last week i just gave up on the sweating part of the shit i was just like you know what bro i'm not trying to lose myself in the shit um and then i was also like if i don't record i'll be able to focus a lot better and i'll have a better chance of winning because i started this day off like 45 minutes ago and i lost my first three sets of the day as you can see, I'm on a streak. So I lost the first three. I've won the last four. Play seven total, basically. Round one, fight. Oh, I wanted to let you guys know too, there will be a um, tournament detail revealed at the end of this video. So stick around. Stick around. Yeah, he was teabagging too. That was real. He was teabagging right there. Don't know why. I don't think I've ever played them before, but they felt it in their body, the teabag or something. People love the teabag rain. Not sure why. I noticed that he was trying to do a lot of down twos. Like, down two is his thing, bro. Seriously. I actually think I got caught at some point with one. Maybe more than one. I'm not even sure. He was just throwing. I tried to flawless block that. Knew he was going to do that. He couldn't help himself. He was pressing buttons. That wasn't even going to hit if he didn't break. I wasn't even going to hit the water ball on that. Can't confirm. You can't confirm into the water ball off of that. Off of 133. <laughs> you have to do 13, which is why you never see anybody do 133 unless they're in the corner. In the corner, you can. You can convert anything off the 133 in the corner. Even Hydro Boost works in the corner on 133. Actually, does pretty good, too. A lot of air time on that shit. A lot of gravity. There is a down, too. Just because I was throwing out another stand one. I was grateful that they didn't, uh, they didn't KB it. Tried to down to me right there, too. Every match I've played today has been all rain, by the way. I haven't played any other character because I really wanted to just play rain. Um, I might play another character after this video and record another video, but... I don't know why he thought that was gonna work. All oh, that fucking gravity he used, and he thought that shit was gonna work. I mean, it would have been a big ass combo if it did work, but it just seemed like a lot of gravity, bro. <clears throat> I went for the uh, sweep right there. Yeah, I knew that was coming. I almost brutality him, changed my mind. Changed my mind at the very last second, was like, nope, hold up instead. <laughs> I almost did it, but I was like, nah, usually when you brutality somebody in the first match, them motherfuckers come back sweaty as hell. And it's like, nah, bro, it ain't worth it. Round one, All right, so then he went and got, he got his collector. And immediately, like, I tried to go for the uh, 401, one plus three crush and blow off rip. I was like, fuck it, I'm doing it right now. Because I knew he was going to throw out the stand four or the four four. And I was like, let me go, let me go. Or stand, no, stand four, stand four. That right there. Knew he was going to do it. I was like, maybe I can beat it. In this match, you'll see me doing um, water ball to bring him closer. And then water ball again to extend the combo. And it's not going to give me a lot of damage. But I need to be trying to give him all the damage I can right away. That shit goes forever, dude. I'm just letting y'all in on my mental state when I play. <laughs> like... I'm still taking I'm still taking information from this dude too. Like that right there. You see how I'm like waiting now? I know I can punish after he does uh back one two two. I think you can punish that before one two two. I'm not even sure if you can punish it, but I know you can at least interrupt him if he tries to mash after it. Cause like right here, I'm starting to I'm starting to realize that I need to get my buttons together. I dropped that combo in the corner. That would have been pretty too. I hate when he switches sides, bro. That's just annoying. It's annoying. God damn it. Happens in the corner a lot. 
I should start going back one and then switch sides with the four part of the string. I had been hitting it with that back one a lot, so I was like, let me throw out the, the water ball right here. It didn't work. <laughs> Tried to sweep. He wasn't even up yet, idiot. And he's dead. And now we kill him. Back out. Get out of here, boy. And then Rain said, you are beneath me. And I was over here, like, sitting in the chair, like, you know what, man? Maybe. But don't say that shit. <laughs> don't say that shit. I just lost three in a row, and then I finally won one. And you want to say you are beneath me when we win? Stop. Stop it. Oh, two of those matches that I lost were to Jax, by the way. Motherfuckers just be mashing, bro. All right, so we got ourselves a Scarlet player, and I'm like, oh, you here? Yep, they here. All right, let's go then. Try to go in forward two, of course. Best uh, advancing button I have, which is kind of sad. See, I'm starting to do that more, where I just bring them in with the water ball and then do it again. There's one thing I noticed, that Rain's uh, meter isn't that important. Unless you're ready to do some huge combos, or not huge, but like, Unless you're ready to do combos for sure, his uh, meter isn't that important. Um, and in this case, they weren't really doing anything. They were just standing there. So I was free to just hit them, knock them down, keep, you know, a little ticky-tack, little ticky-tack damage. So it was like, I don't need the meter. Bring them in. You know what I'm saying? And then hit them again with the... For some reason, I thought they were grabbing me right there. I didn't even think that was a... Uh, I did not think that was a projectile. I thought they were grabbing. Just got that meter back. Gonna jump. Yeah. I always try to convert off the cross up with him. But it doesn't always work, you know what I'm saying? It, it works sometimes. It works sometimes. It don't always work. Round one, fight. All right. Then they went from Joker. I mean, they went from Scarlet and got Joker. And I was like, okay, this is the real main right here. But they played so much more defensively and just a lot of damn down twos with this character, bro. Like, everything fucking changed. They did make one good read in this shit, though. Ain't gonna lie. Look, it's just down twos. Like... That's all they're thinking about. Down two, down two, down two, down two, all the time. I noticed it. I noticed it like right here, like right in this in this round. I noticed that shit. Like they're just gonna continue to do that. I can always hit them. So I had to start thinking, what button can I press? Because Rain can actually get down two out of every mid he has. Like his mids do not do not cancel out of down two. And I was like, oh, we doing this now? That's what we doing? Okay, okay. That was supposed to be an Argus plunge. It didn't come out. But it's cool. Because I'm going to save that surprise for later. That was an accident. It was actually an accident. Because for some reason, my brain was just like, fatal blow. <laughs> That's on Reaction Jackson right there. All right. <laughs> that little five percent is worth the damage, man. When you uh bring them in off that shit. This is, look at them. It's just down twos. Dead. I stayed on top of him with the back two one because. I'm like, he's doing down twos, and I know I can be down two out of my out of my back two one, but I'm going to just medium with it. So every time he get up, he's going to be getting hit with some part of that string, and then I'll just go into the water ball after that. Round one, All right, fight. we got this Molina player. This is the best player that I played out of the four people. And I don't know if it's saying a lot, honestly, because the Molina's kind of basic, bro. I ain't going to lie. I got hit with a lot of shit right there, but... I was just honestly trying to feel the mind at this point. And her pokes are like, her pokes are good, bro. Compared to Reigns especially, her pokes are damn good. I hate that shit too. 
When I realized that we're gonna finish that string right there, I was like, oh buddy, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. It's not gonna be easy for you. <laughs> it's not gonna be fun for you if you're gonna finish that string every time. Uh -uh. Again. Again. Round two, fight. This isn't even the best match between the two of us. The second match is the best match. Like, wait till you see that shit. It gets sweaty because they changed their whole tactic up. A lot of that shit, by the way. I think it might actually start in this round. Where they just start doing a lot of fucking grabbing. Like, they run away and they grab. <laughs> Excuse me. Shit. Drop that. I gotta start capitalizing when I catch them on the wake up with the back one. And they just float in the air like that. I gotta use that gravity, bro. I gotta be better about that. I'm just so used to not being able to do anything off the back of one. That muscle memory just be like, nah, fam. <laughs> I'm like, why don't I just duck these again? What am I doing? I mean, you know? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> You don't wake up short hop when you're trying to do a up three or something. You do not wake up short hop. If you're trying to do a up three and you get an input error, you will do a jump three. You won't do a up three. You won't do a short hop. You'll either do a jump three or just a stand three. Cause it's either gonna read your, your up button as a jump or it's gonna not read it at all. Round one. My allergies are kicking my ass, man. All right, so. <clears throat> in this match, they made me work for it. Like I showed y'all in the beginning that um, I didn't lose a match out of the four, but this motherfucker made me work for it in this one. See, they stopped going for the stagger. They were mashing right there. That's the only reason they got out of that grab. Come on. See the jump two in the grab shit starting? I hate that shit so much. So I'm like, okay. A little bit more aggressive then. Look. They made me work for it. They were better. They played with more skill in the first match than they played in this. Like, for sure. For show, sure, for show. Sure. I tried to dash. I was in the middle of dashing when I got hit. Round two. Her projectiles are so fast that like you dash and you get caught with the projectile before you have a chance to duck. Like you can dash and they can throw the damn thing on on reaction <laughs> to your dash and they'll still hit you, bro. No matter how far away they are, it's crazy. They feeling real good about this shit right now, though. They feeling real good. Look, styling on me, bruh. I was taking a breath when I threw that. And I was like, okay, what I need to do? What do I do right here? They're gonna keep thinking I'm trying to grab. Gonna keep thinking I'm trying to grab, so let me show them something else. Got a couple of tricks up my sleeve. And you're dead. And you're dead. Jump in, man. I wished the jump in, by the way. Didn't mean I stopped pressing buttons, though. And just like everybody else, man, they can jump in with the jump in and then press buttons after it. Like, it don't fucking matter. When we started that round, I wanted the life lead because I was like, I need it because they're trying to run. So I can't just let them run without hitting them first. Let me throw this trash can. I got ahead of myself. Once again, I'm back at this junction. Thought I could do that. Can't. I could have did the geyser kick off of it. Didn't think about that. I don't even use the geyser kick. That's crazy, right? <clears throat> If the water ball was one slot, I would have Hydro Boost. 
I would have Hydro Boost if, I, if it was one slot. Finish her. I wanted that. I wanted that brutality pretty bad. But it's all good. Didn't need it. Got the duck. They need to make Water Ball a one slot move, man. If they do that, <clears throat> Rain will become like high mid tier slash maybe top tier. Just do it. Make it one slot, bruh. He's a demigod. Let that man be what he is. Round one. Now I knew after I beat this Jackie, I'm gonna have to deal with that damn katana. I wasn't prepared to deal with either one of these characters, honestly. And then when they showed up, I was like, God damn it. Cause this person, I've played a lot. This is a nemesis. But basically, they don't like to play. They don't want to get in your face. They don't want to fight. They don't want to. They learn a couple basic ass combos. Nothing extended. It's just some basic ass, you know what I'm saying? The basic strings of her combos. <coughs> and then after that, it's just, let me throw these projectiles out. Same thing they do with Katana. They have no interest in fighting you. Even though Katana's safe on everything, even though Jackie's safe on everything, they have no interest, bruh. <clears throat> and I'll be honest with y'all, I was feeling like, I don't know about this one. And I forgot that the, uh, the dash punch was punishable. I forgot, I totally forgot. Like really, that's the only combo string they know. Just that one, four, three. I don't even play Jackie at all, and I know more than that with her. I can do a full extended combo with a KB at the end of it. <laughs> with her. Two of them, actually. But they have no idea because they don't care to learn. It's always been this way with them. So I was like, alright, let me get fancy then. You want me to you want me to get fancy? Let's get fancy then. I'm gonna have to do more shit in order to stop them. Didn't have enough gravity to do what I wanted to do right there. But muscle memory wanted me to, uh, <laughs> it wanted me to do back one into two, four, two. Look, they have no idea. They could have killed me right there. I could have been dead right there if they had just finished the combo stream in Fatal Blow. They don't know any combos with her though. None, none, none. All they know is let me spam these projectiles. I don't even know if that's uh, punishable. That mid so fast, man. That damn forward three is so fast. Good read. That was a good read. That was a read right there. I hadn't tried to fucking grab the whole time. And then they, then I went for one grab. Honestly, it might not even been a read. It might have just been what they've been trying to do the whole time, but I hit them with a back two usually. Because I've been hitting them with a lot of back twos, back ones, and shit like that. And that's 415 for that ass right there. And a wave dash too. <laughs> yeah, I work on that. I work on everything with this character. Only thing I need to get right is the anti airs with Rain. Because Rain's anti airs are shit. Unless you have Geyser Palm. It's the best anti air he has. And it's a good one, but you can't always equip it when you want to use the variation you're most comfortable with, which in my case is Water Ball and Tidal Wave. Make it one slot, NRS. All right, we have the last one. This is the one that got me Grandmaster. They went and got their Katana. I hate this character with a passion. Katana is so annoying. They could have down to me right there. Of course. But they didn't. Ain't my fault, I just play the game the way I play it, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why I didn't think I should probably be jumping a lot against them too, against Katana. 
I should probably just like jump in the air against them. See what I mean? Because that's all they do is katana. I can literally jump too every time when I knock them down and it would be okay. What are they going to do to stop it? Nothing. They're either going to get hit or I'm going to jump in the air and do a jump too. Like every time. I can always do that. It's katana. It's one of the things I was trying to figure out yesterday because I played a fucking scorpion who wouldn't stop jumping. He literally did jump to grab, jump to, down to the whole fight. That was his whole plan. That's literally all he did, and it worked against me twice. Two sets I lost to this dude. Because he played like that the whole time. What am I supposed to do? How do you stop it? Because I don't know. So I came to the conclusion that the thing I have to do is play rain because I didn't play rain against him. I played sub zero and night wolf. I want to say. So I'm like, you know what? I will play uh, rain against him. I will use geyser palm, uh, hydro boost and tidal wave. And eventually, you know what I'm saying? I will anti air him. I will put him down to the ground and I will goddamn hydro boost him uh, as an Oki. <laughs> I will Oki with hydro boost. He'll get that meaty and he'll be, <laughs> he'll be stuck wherever the hell he is. So even if he does a goddamn wake up, I'm gonna be in the air doing hydro boost. He ain't gonna be doing shit about it. And if he does up to, he gonna get hit. Yeah, she done for right here, bro. She's in jail. She's in fucking jail. At this point, she's dead, and they know it. They know it. Like at this point, honestly, I just want to. I want a brutality. I ain't gonna lie to you. But I didn't get it. I was actually kind of mad, but I was just like, ah, whatever. I wanted a brutality right there. That's why I didn't just kill them. And I didn't want to do it off a of grab. I wanted it to be the water ball brutality because that's my favorite one. <sighs> but yeah, that's how I made Grandmaster. At this point, I am now Grandmaster. The thing is popping up on the screen. All that stuff happened. You know what I'm saying? All right, man. So look, I'm releasing tournament details at the end of videos. Mostly because I need you guys to watch the whole video videos because it helps with the algorithm if you watch the entire video when you when you watch videos. So it's kind of like helping me out a little bit, but it's also because I don't want to put it at the beginning of videos because I don't want everybody to be vying for a spot in the tournament. Storm Cell tournament is only gonna have eight slots. That was the first detail. The second detail is you only get to play two characters. You're gonna sign up with those two characters. I'm gonna keep note of which characters everybody said they're gonna play with in the tournament. So eight people, two characters each, and you have to use those two characters. You don't get to go through the whole thing with one character. You're gonna have to switch at some point. So if that means you pick a character, so say like if I'm playing, right? I'm not, but say I am. And I I, I choose to take Nightwolf and Rain into the tournament. In the first match, I can pick Rain because I know Rain is my weaker character, right? I could pick Rain and be like, you know what? I'm gonna play Rain right now. And then if I lose, I'll switch to Nightwolf for the next match. And then I don't have to play Rain again for the rest of the tournament because I played him. But you have to play both characters at some point. The reason for this is because this is a community tournament, first of all, you know what I'm saying? Subscribers only. This is Sky Crew only. We doing a Storm Cell tournament. This is just us. And I want all of us to be getting better. I want us all to sweat our asses off. And we cannot, cannot expect to get a lot better and actually compete with people who are crazy good at the game, like pro players and you know whoever else, unless we've learned other characters too. So I want us to play two characters. You know what I'm saying? I want everybody to play two characters. And not at least, just two. Two only. Only. That is the max and the min. 
So two characters, and um, you only got to use them. You only got to use them once. Once you've used them, you use them. You ain't got to use them no more. <clears throat> and um, yeah, I'll release the next detail in the next video. We are now, according to YouTube, seven subscribers away from 100. According to YouTube Studio or Creator Studio, I am eight subscribers away from 100. So I don't know which number is correct. I think the YouTube number is more accurate because it's actually YouTube, YouTube. So I guess I'm seven away. Very, very close, y'all. Once we get to 100, you will only have a week to prepare for the tournament. So whatever day we hit 100, you're going to have a week from that day to prepare. A week. So I hope that you know who your two characters are already because most of us have been playing the game for two years. You know what I'm saying? So we should be kind of ready at least. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Hopefully y'all watched to this point. If you did, not only do I want you to leave an eight in your comment somewhere, I want you to also leave a two somewhere in your comment. So it can say 82, it can say 28, it can say eight over here at the beginning, two at the end of your comment. I want you to put those two numbers in your comments somewhere so that I know you heard the details. So I know that you one of the people who are trying to get in on this shit. You know what I'm saying? I might be a little bit more lenient about when I release the sign up video if y'all show me that y'all listening to the comments. I mean, y'all listening to the details and putting it in the comments. You know what I'm saying? I be I might be more lenient because I know when some of y'all watch the videos. I know when some of y'all can get to the videos. So, hey, come on now. I'm working with you. You work with me. You feel me? <laughs> All right, y'all. That's it. Thank y'all for watching. Leave a like on the video if you enjoy the content. Subscribe if you are new. Hit the notification bell and leave your comment down below. And don't forget the numbers.